Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I'm bringing you the final episode, episode part one of the Messy House Challenge from NeighborlySimsCraft.com. The first part of this whole episode is when uh, the mail lady came over to visit uh, Joe and uh, they decided to do some dancing together to the, I think that was the backyard music which seems to be uh, kind of a light country western. And so they're out there dancing until she decides that it's time to leave. I was just trying to keep him a little bit happy, I think, at the time. So anyway, that's what they're doing during this first part. Then things started getting uh, more rotten and more broken and I started moving stuff around as you can see the toilet there is uh, broken running water all over the floor so I put it out in the little shed that I built for those kind of things as you can see there's some other things out there as well and then the trash plants started to grow next to the uh, trash can there in the front and so I moved that trash plant out by the little shed there as well and it continued to grow and thrive. And then in this part here, there are actually some dirty dishes down inside of that pool. And back here, we more things piled up in there in the, in the shed with a locked door. The door is there, but it's locked to everybody, including Joe. And the trash plant out back is beginning to really thrive. And so uh, Joe decided he would move that broken toilet out there to water the plant, which doesn't really happen but it was fun anyway. Okay, then we have stinky stuff underneath the keyboard. He puts stuff there all the time and uses it anyway. So there's more stinky stuff underneath that uh, keyboard there. And you can see it coming out the side here. That's not really good uh, picture, but it, it is. And then the broken down music box, everything just started breaking down all at once which is kind of what I thought would happen, but I thought it would happen earlier. Okay, then we have plates underneath the microwave that I was able to get placed there. And here we have a hamburger cake that he was able to make, which I had never seen before. But it's in there. And then a fire started. And the fire just went and went and went. And went and went and went. And it's just, you can see, I was trying to do two things and it wouldn't let me do them. I was trying to get him out. They both ran. He, oh, this was uh, Candy. She had come to visit. And uh, he took off out in front with her. She's just standing out there once in a while saying a word. And he's out there. And you're, I'm sure you can hear him, what he's talking about out there. And just busy in the fire. And I'll have to let you just listen to him for a few minutes. And so he comes out here and he's like helpless. And I think he actually got, no, he didn't get into the pool. But I was thinking he was going to. He didn't know what he was going to do. She's still out there making some moans and groans every once in a while. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's afraid he'll lose his whole house. It's very tense. The fire just keeps on burning. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> Haspa! Haspa! He's just dancing around. Uh, Haspa! Haspa! This is the man that does very little work. Here. He has Lefty, no idea. What Haspa! To do. And I'm trying to get him to go to work, and of course Haspa, he can't go to work. Haspa! And he's probably going to lose his job. And I don't think he's thinking about that at all. And then the fire spreads to inside. Uh, yeah. Now what? <laughs> so, I finally decide, well, you don't think we want to lose the whole house. So, let's uh, let's send him inside to try to put this fire out. So, here he goes. I kind of had thought he'd do it on his own, but no. Lazy, I guess. So, he's putting out the fire inside. All smoke black and the sink is still burning away there. He goes out back, and he's trying to put the fire out of here, all of a sudden he gets on fire. 
and it won't let me let it, you know, put this stuff out. It says extinguish himself first. Oh, I didn't know he could do that. Okay, fine. He does, but of course he's totally black by then. By that time, the boom box is gone. The grill is toast. <laughs> stuff on the table over here is Frank's and Beans got burnt. And the range is still going inside, but it looks like it's going out. I don't think it would even let me extinguish that anymore. That was it's like the end of the end of the fire animation. And the guy on the out here on the sidewalk says, Hey, hi, you know, dag dag. <laughs> he waves again on his way by. And they're still yelling about the fire and he doesn't offer to help. He didn't even yell with them. He just flipped. Okay, so last little bit. Let's try to get this out. It's from the stove in there. What does he get to do one? Oh, there he goes. It was starting to spread again, so he was able to get rid of it. He's not tense, he's angry, he can't go to work, he's upset. Not being a good day. There we go. So, there we go. I think that was the last of it. And so he goes in. Oh, looks like we've still got more flames showing up. Oh, that's the end of it, I think. And so then he just needs to get cleaned up. Okay, and... That's when I found the Franks and Beans. <laughs> Charred. <laughs> so yeah, I moved some things around. I was trying to move them out of the way. Get them, but it wouldn't. it wouldn't let me do it. So I think I finally put them in the shed. I can't remember what I did with them. Where they, oh, they wouldn't go there. Oh, that's when I put them down in the pool. That's right. With the other dish that's already down in there. So somebody's been throwing their junk into the pool. Okay. And by that time... And Candy was still hanging around. Okay, come on. This is just about the end of it here. There's not much left. By that time, there's still lingering flames over here. Cut the video. Well, those were in-game videos. And went to... Okay. He went. He decided he needed to... He took a shower, but he still was dirty. When he got in the pool, he miraculously did get unblackened. So he got more plates hanging around underneath the key. It's getting pretty stinky in there. Pretty smelly over at the microwave. Uh, Candy's saying she's going to dance to the jukebox, which didn't get burnt. I almost put it over there earlier. It would have been burnt up. Now we have more trash plants growing out here, being <coughs> wa watered here <laughs> by the broken toilet. And here are the little trash plants, the trash fruit that grows on those. You can sell them for a simoleon apiece. So they make you some money. You can get rid of them. Get money for it. And due to all the showering and everything, we have a broken down shower and a broken down sink. And so that's when I decided that I would have to make stairs going down to the basement. And so there is still stuff in the basement, but these stairs right here which are placed conveniently over the top of the stairs so he can't go down there because he tried to start cleaning it up right away. But the the old shower there is on top of the stairs so nobody can go down them. And that is the end of the messy house. So it has stuff in the basement, stuff out in that shed. And now Joe Sloppy has been moved out to the household's management place. Um, he did take 17000 with him and the house is worth 15000 so yeah, that was the end of that, and part two will be coming soon. And thank you for watching.